In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create this quick and easy social media post in GIMP. Hello everyone, my name is Tawanda from Little Zoe and like I said, in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to create a quick and easy social media post. So this is just a basic, this is just a simple image with text and maybe a logo on it for the company. So yeah, let's get started. So this is just going to be a simple image with text, uh, it could be for your motivational Monday, tactical Tuesday, wisdom Wednesday or whatever. You just feel like posting something simple on your social media account, well, I'm just going to show you how to do that quickly. Right. Here we've already opened our image in GIMP. I get most of my images from unsplash.com and uh, pexel.com and pixabay.com. Those are royalty free images, free resources you can eat that are readily available online. So once you've downloaded the image of your choice, you can right click it and choose to open it in GIMP which is what I did here, or you can just open up GIMP, drag and drop your image in GIMP. The difference is when you choose to open an image in GIMP, by default, GIMP is gonna pick the image's dimensions. Like in this case, these are the actual image dimensions. Jumping right into it, we are gonna create this image right over here. So if you have a look at it, it's the company logo, an ellipse tool used to create the circle in the background, the text, and we also have text here. So that's one, two, three, four things that need to be added to our original image. So we're just going to minimize that. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the ellipse tool. I'm just going to change the color to black. Yeah, and then select the ellipse tool. Click, press shift for a perfect circle. And then make sure it's aligned where you, or positioned where you want it to. Now, as you can see, the selection is already there. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click, edit, fill with foreground color, which is black. Now, the next step is to select none. What we've just done here is that we've removed the ellipse tool and we've just maintained the shape we've filled in. Um, as you can see here, no, we need to redo that. Let's undo that. Let's create a new layer first before we fill it in. A new layer there, edit, fill with foreground color, select none. Great. Now, reason why I didn't, I chose to have the image and the ellipse to route. Sorry, reason why I chose to have the base image and the ellipse tool separately is for this reason. In the event that you want to make adjustments to your circle or to the shape you've placed on top, it's way easier when you've created a separate layer for it. So in this case, I'll go ahead and adjust the transparency for that layer. I'll leave it at 82, that should be fine. Right, so the next step would be to add our text. Let's just have a look at the image again. Right, in times of difficulties, we must not lose sight of our achievements go back there and type that in. place it over there. So we've done the basics, we've added our ellipse tool, we used an ellipse tool to create our shape, fill it in, reduce the transparency so the background can still be visible, and then we added our text. Now since this is a Wisdom Wednesday post, we are going to go ahead and add another text layer and write Wisdom, rather type Wisdom Wednesday, go to hashtag. Right. 
then the next step now would be to add the logo now I've already dragged and dropped an i7 consultants logo which is this one here but you'll notice that the one in the image is a white logo so we're just gonna convert that into a white logo so there are many ways of doing that in GIMP but this is one of the ways I'm just gonna show you right you're just gonna go colors desaturate and then we select I normally prefer luminance I'm gonna click OK and what that does what that does is it strips away all the color from the logo and leaves it as a, as a white or grayscale image now the next thing we're gonna do is colors levels and then what we want to do here is make sure that there's no grayscale and everything is dark oh, it should be it should be the other way around right my preview option was unchecked so we turned everything dark as you can see there's no grayscale anymore there's no white outline there's nothing and then the next step and the final step would be just to invert the colors convert to white now we're just going to go ahead and scale it that should be reasonable scale and that's it there you have it in here right you open up the second image of this leopard lying on a tree or tree branch what we want to do is we want to use we want to create a social media post with a gradient overlay so let's just quickly do that right the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna duplicate that because we are gonna need to compare which one works for us so we're just gonna duplicate that layer switch off that eyeball there this one here is for the i7 logo it's already in place so it's, it's this color as you can see right so we're going to start working with this one first thing i want to do is i don't like the way the leopard is facing maybe i, I want to have it face the other direction so what am i what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the, the flip option or the flip tool click on the image and you can see it's already faced the other direction that one is in that direction and this one is in this direction um, I think we can just change that one as well so that we know we're working with the same thing right select that layer again now what we're going to do here is the first option would be to strip off all the color from this image here as like we did with the first one so we're just going to go colors desaturate luminance that's okay now that's black and white then we're going to go ahead and create a new layer I'm just going to put that right at the top there of the second image and then I'm going to select the gradient tool we have this drop down here I'm going to click here and change the color because I don't think white will work properly for us so let's just select that blue click OK and select here make sure it's foreground to transparent because we don't want any other color it's just the blue we need and then the shape is linear so what we're going to do is just click and drag we're just going to leave it right about here so we don't cover up the leopard as much right that should be fine now the next thing would be obviously to change those colors let's get white back and then let's add our text layer so it would be anything you want um, so we can make further adjustments to the text maybe we're going to make it what um, 60 This this quote is purely made up from my head, so <laughs> don't don't try to quote it as elsewhere. It's not gonna make that much sense. Then we're just gonna add the person who say that out of me. 
to wander again we adjust our text there we go that should work for us what am I doing come on there we go So there and then maybe we can um, maybe yeah, just make it a wisdom Wednesday as well. Just make that a wisdom Wednesday coat. Make that bold, then font size maybe thirty five, right? And then we leave it there. We leave it there. Right, and then as for our logo, we've already seen how to convert it into an all white. If you want, you can leave it like that. But now, since this image is already a grayscale, it might be beneficial to just change that as well. So, just going to desaturate it. Okay. Okay, no, sorry, wrong layer selected. We're just going to desaturate that logo. Luminance, okay, colors. Levels. Uh, the next thing would be to convert everything to a darker color, like that. And colors. And there we have it. So again, it's up to you. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna switch this one on and off. So whatever works for you is what then you opt for. So in this case, what we've essentially done is we have created two social media posts using different techniques and we've also seen how we can convert an image that is from color to black and white or to just yeah to color from color to black or just white so after you've done this you can go ahead and select file export as Alright, we're just going to open up the images and have a look at what we've just created. Fine, there you have it. Two techniques that you can use to create your simple social media post. Uh, you can actually do this in less than five minutes. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, please let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, don't forget to like, share the video if you find it useful or helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification icon so you guys don't miss out on any content we release. Thank you guys for watching.